Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to the Fidelity Investment CBS Sports Desk. Today, we tip off a CBS Sports Top 25 weekend. Eleven of the nation's elite college basketball teams will be in action. Five today, six more tomorrow. Coming up next, most of you will see Kansas take on Iowa State, while others will see the hardwood version of the Army-Navy game. Then at two, some of you will see the start, and eventually everyone will see the second half of Arizona against USC. And at four Eastern, you will see either Ohio State taking on Alabama or Arizona State against UCLA. Missing from the top 25 are the 10 and 15 Louisville Cardinals who take on Utah today. There were reports this week that Cardinals head coach Denny Crump, who's won two national championships, will be let go after the season. Yesterday, Louisville President John W. Shoemaker said the reports that a decision has been made are not true. The university supports athletic director Tom Jurich's decision not to assess Crum's status until after the season is over. Coming up, our top 25 weekend begins. I'll see you at the half. Enjoy the games here on CBS. This has been the Fidelity Investment CBS Sports Desk. and the Kansas Jayhawks, it was business as usual, winning 17 of their first 18 games and being ranked as high as number two in the country. But just as they were cruising, the wheels began to slide, losing three of their last five, now a game out of first in the Big 12, and leaving Williams frustrated. Last year, Larry Eustachie had the Iowa State Cyclones one win away from a Final Four. This year, the surge continues as they ride an eight-game winning streak and look to defeat Kansas for the second time in two weeks. The balance of power is shifting in the Big 12 Conference. A cold, frigid day in America's heartland, but inside capacity filled Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, pandemonium. Where Iowa State hasn't lost in two years, 33 straight wins. And today the Cyclones bring in their first top 10 ranking of the season as they battle the reeling Kansas Jayhawks. KU 3-3 three three over the last six games, losing to Baylor on Monday. Iowa State has beaten the Jayhawks four consecutive times. Pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Kevin Harlan alongside John Sunbow. Great to have you with us today for a great game here in the Rockin' Hilton Coliseum. Why have the Cyclones played so well? Kevin, the three-guard lineup is explosive and as dynamic as any in college basketball. You have three guys there. Tinsley, All-American point guard, handles it as well as anybody. Horton can handle it and shoot it. Jake Sullivan, the hot shooting freshman. These guys shot 67% beyond the three-point line against Kansas in the first win. And in a big game for Kansas, they are shorthanded today. They are. Without Drew good and this is a different ball club but I think what they have to focus is on inside Nick Collison an outstanding low block player when he catches it inside he can go to the left hook the right hook he's very versatile in the first matchup only 10 shots that's not enough touches the more touches the more pressure on the interior defense of Iowa State buckle up folks it's Iowa State taking on the Kansas Jayhawks next on CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Singular, the wireless company that believes in the value and joy of self-expression. Bud Light, for the great taste that won't fit you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. And by the new Audi All-Road Quattro. It's a car for all roads, all journeys, all worlds. In Roy Williams, 13 years at Kansas, seven league titles, more wins in his first 12 years than any other coach in NCAA history. And today he starts Collison, Chenoweth, and Gregory on the front line. And the backcourt of Iowa born and raised Kirk Heinrich and Jeff Boshi. And Larry Eustacey, last year's AP National Coach of the Year in college basketball. And he goes with two forwards and three guards. And up front, they've got Shirley and Martine Ransom. But the backcourt is outstanding for the Cyclones with Horton, Tinsley, and freshman Jake Sullivan. Well, Cantrell Horton, 6'1", but Kevin, 225, and can match up anywhere defensively with anybody. He can guard the center. He can guard the point guard. Kevin Harlan alongside John Sunbold. Steve Wilmer is our crew chief. Here inside 
the Hilton Coliseum today. Matchup early. Horton's going to be guarding Gregory. You have to keep Kenny Gregory off the offensive glass. Kansas wants to attack. They want to come out with more emotion, especially after their loss in Waco against Baylor on Monday night. Twelve days ago, John, you saw Iowa State beat Kansas. What would you do differently today if you were Kansas against Iowa State? I think we'll see more zone defense so they can contain the penetration of Jamal Tinsley. Chenoweth on top, and Shirley's got a hold of him. Through the hands of Boshi. Heinrich saves it, or did he? He went out of bounds, fumbling the ball, and turnovers were a problem for the Jayhawks 12 days ago. Iowa State, one of the toughest teams in college basketball. They're not big, they're not fast, they're not strong, but they are tough. They will get after you in a half-court defensive set. Offensively, they'll try to attack Kansas in a man-to-man. -man. Tinsley down the lane, and a rebound pulled down by Heinrich. And here he comes from Sioux City, Iowa, Kirk Heinrich. Heinrich has been the leader of this Jayhawk team all season long. Solid sophomore campaign, outstanding open shooter. One of the top assist men in the college ranks and knocks down a three right there, and he's one of the top 13 three-point shooters in college basketball. Well, you mentioned Sioux City, Iowa. He committed to Iowa State when Tim Floyd was here, then when Tim Floyd left, decided to transfer, go to Kansas, or not transfer, but change his mind. Oshie with the defense and a Kansas steal with the Cyclone turnover. And here comes Kenny Gregory, who leads the Jayhawks in scoring. And over 16 a game. Chenoweth across the lane, grinding inside, but can't get it to drop with an Iowa State rebound. Has to convert those shots. He's going to get opportunities. Chenoweth has to convert them, put pressure again on the inside defense. Tinsley inside. That is a definite benefit for Kansas today. They've got truly the premier center in this particular game. Well, at 7-1, they can get it to him, but he's got to convert. Chenoweth has been able to have games that are good, but then games that aren't so good. It's two rebounds away from going past Will Chamberlain for number four all time on the Kansas rebounding list. First matchup was difficult to contain Horton. Cantrell Horton, 6'1", 225, but can handle it like any point guard. Trigger pass. And a spoon feed surely for two. And the Jayhawks racing the other way. Great assist. Here comes Boshi on top to Collison. Right down the middle of Chenoweth. Outstanding pass. Good low post position. Shirley cannot let Chenoweth walk himself under the rim. Good Chenoweth. pass out top. He spent a lot of time this summer working at big man camps around the country. He's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. More patient on the offensive end. Especially needed with Drew Good now. His role increasing ever more as here comes Kentrell Horton and outside for Sullivan. A great shooter from outside. A foul call in on Kansas. Chenoweth, a little too physical, picks up his first of the game for the Jayhawks. Now, Cantrell Horton, when we take a look and we talk about this three-guard lineup, you have two point guards and three shooting guards in the three of them. Cantrell Horton can handle it and take a look at the pass. Nice assist down low, easy hoop. Shirley double, ducks the defense and finds two. Now the emergence of Paul Shirley. A year ago in reserve, he's a graduate already in his fifth year. Here on an academic scholarship and not an athletic scholarship, Boshi the miss. Surely the rebound. Two of the best rebounding teams in college basketball. Iowa State, second in the nation in rebound margin. There's Tim. Oh, what a move by Tinsley who draws the foul as he penetrates inside for the Cyclones. Kevin, a I, move. Kevin, I haven't seen a player handle the ball like this since Isaiah Thomas. The guy's magical. It's on a string. He can spin. He can finish. He shoots a lot of foul shots, and he is solid at the free throw line at 70%. Heinrich picks up the foul for Kansas. Tinsley douses the first free throw. He had 18 against Kansas and six assists, along with three steals. Well, and where he has upped everything, you take a look at second half. He gets everybody involved in the first half, but the last five minutes are Jamal Tinsley's. He creates everything for his teammates or himself. Tinsley in that last game against Kansas was great. Iowa State enjoying their first lead. Here comes Gregory, who's got that huge critical leap. Defended well, rebound by Rancic. Here comes Tinsley working through Trent. Kansas outstanding defensively getting back. Tinsley with the dance off his foot. He dribbled, got it back, and a jump ball with him and Heinrich. And some shoving after the play, and Tinsley initiated it. Emotion, passion. He'll be here this afternoon. You'd expect nothing less. Right? Well, I, again, Kansas coming off one of their worst efforts, and Roy Williams described maybe in his 13 years at Kansas, disappointed by how they came out in the first half. They were down 25 in Waco, lost that ball game. Baylor played outstanding. 
he knew they would respond differently at the start of this ball game. And how do you think Iowans respond to two of their best players, Collison and Heinrich, going to Kansas? Well, there'll be a little communication between the crowd and the players on the court. As expected, this should be probably. Iowa State is two of four shooting the ball, and here comes Sullivan, one of the best first shooters in college basketball. Here is Stroke, I think I've ever seen in a long, long time. When he misses, uh, you're surprised. to play in the first half. With Chenoweth looking, Kansas 2-5 to start the game. And Iowa State defense, we talked about their rebound. They only have one player in the top 20 in this conference in rebound, and Shirley's 13th, so they are a team rebounding group. Horton has the steal. Shirley prompted it free. Horton with the drive. Good defense by Boshi as they sprawl on the floor. Heinrich has it, and the Jayhawks the other way. Good hustle. Kansas has been active defensively with their hands. Gregory slides in for two. His shooting has increased incredibly from outside. We always knew he could do what he just did, but now it's his outside shot, which is another part of his weapon. Yeah, still has the one weakness at the foul line, only 45%, but his game is transition. If they get him in the open floor, tough to stop. Horton with a nice drive, and Chenoweth with the rebound for Kansas. Chenoweth has his first of the night, and inside driving is Gregory, and he falls inside, diving into the lane for two. Roy Williams basketball, rebound, you push, you take a look. And Kendrick Gregory fills the lane. Outstanding hit ahead. Gives him a good hoop. With that basket, Kansas on top, 9-8. to eight. You just mentioned moments ago about the Achilles heel that Ken Gregory has at the free throw line. You know, 45%, and it's really been his career. 44% right? career shooter from the foul line. No matter what he's tried and what you try to do, it becomes a mental thing. And inside, a lane violation on Kansas. Jayhawks on top, 9-8. to eight. And they are in an insane asylum today at the Hilton Coliseum. Old Iowa State and Kansas shooting over 50%. Kansas coming off a tough loss in Waco to Baylor on Monday. Iowa State hasn't played since last week. Sunday when they beat Missouri here for their eighth consecutive win in the conference. Well, Jamal Tinsley went back to New York, has a ill grandmother, so didn't get back until two days ago to practice. Kansas had the full week to get over the loss against Baylor. Kansas, two new players, Jeff Carey and Bryant Nash have checked in. Carey a junior, Nash a freshman. Iowa State the same, Tinsley and Sullivan for three. A very difficult team to half court try out because of the way they handle the ball and the way they shoot it. Kansas tried to surprise them. It didn't catch Iowa State off guard at all. Iowa State is the number two rated three-point shooting team in college basketball. And they space so well on the offensive end. Good move by Boshi. To get open for that mid-range jump shot, which brings Kansas to a tie. You take a look at the Kansas lineup. You mentioned Carey coming in and Nash. Not very productive on the offensive end. So that's going to force Boshi, Heinrich, and Collison to look for their shot more. Here's Tinsley, who's got two. Boshi on him, the screen by Shirley. And Sullivan goes inside to Ransom. Over Collison, who altered the shot. They front court inside, out of bounds it goes, and the Jayhawks are going to make The factor of winning basketball games for Iowa State, we talk about the three guards. Shirley and Ransom inside have to play well, and they've done that all season long. Iowa State three turnovers, Kansas two. We're tied at 11. Oshie with the move. Heinrich with the drive and basically uncovered with a rebound pulled down by Ransom. He's got three already. Sullivan for another three. He can be a flamethrower. Run the floor, spot up. Tinsley will find it. Nash on top. Boshi with the Heinrich screen. Rebound Nash flying in, tapped up and down by Collison. And we will not see many putbacks on either end of the floor. Both teams again. Great rebounding ball clubs. Eustacey takes a timeout immediately to give up that offensive ball. Jake Sullivan, the freshman from Minnesota with eight points and two threes. And the Cyclones by one. 
Iowa State tied for the most Division I wins over the last two years, 53. Well, the student body began setting their tents in their little campground outside Hilton Coliseum late in the week. They let them inside the concourse this morning because it got below zero last night, not including the wind chill. And at 10 o'clock, they flooded the seats like sharks to whale meat. They grabbed what they could get. And they are in full throat this afternoon. Well, what an atmosphere. This is a ball club picked fourth in the, by the coaches for the Big 12 and fifth by the media. And here they are at the top of the Big 12 race and can put themselves in a two-game lead if they can win this afternoon. No changes for Iowa State. Same for Kansas. Carey remains in there with Boshi and Heinrich. And Match here comes up. Tinsley. Matchup zone defense. Sullivan will try to find openings. Horton, Tinsley, unlimited range. Sullivan shot clock at six outside to Horton. He'll blast to three. Nash had a hand in it. Pearson was the guy who came in to touch it. And Tyree Pearson will pick up his first foul. He is a junior college transfer, but he was first team junior college All America a season ago at King Kaki Community College. Explosive score, but what Larry Eustachie has developed in this young man is a solid defensive player. I like what Kansas is doing defensively, the zone. They're challenging the shooters. They're going to try to make everybody put it on the floor. Both teams 50% shooting right now as Collison hits Heinrich. Approaching 13 minutes to play in the first half. Boshi spoon feeds Collison, hit by two, can't get it, carry with the rebound. Inside, grinding his way inside. Carey filling in for Drew Gooden. More minutes, more activity. He's from Camdenton, Missouri. Jayhawks on top, 15 to 14. Kevin Harlan and John Sunbolt inside. The Hilton Coliseum and Ames break past Tinsley inside to Shirley, but Collison is there. And a pass through a traffic-filled lane, finally corralled by Horton, finds Sullivan for three. Automatic. In the first game, Iowa State hit the 11 three-point shots against the Jayhawks 12 days ago in Lawrence. Created by penetration, Horton, Horton did lose the ball, but recovered, found Sullivan. And Sullivan is only a freshman. Heinrich with the dance, the crossover, the spin. Rebound inside by Pearson. Tinsley to Sullivan from 25. Wow. He is an assassin. He was born in Iowa, lived for a short time in Dyersville, Iowa, which is next to the Field of Dreams from the movie. And this isn't heaven, it is Iowa, but to freshman Jake Sullivan, who has 14 points and four threes, it seems like, Kevin, he has been outstanding. Well, you play with two senior guards, they'll find you. He's got to find an opening. This one right here, unbelievable. He's coming full speed, stops, launches about a 25-footer, and he is on a roll. And Iowa State has their biggest lead today of five, 20 to 15. Kevin Harlan, John Sunbold in Ames. Again, the matchup zone defense, they continue to point where the shooters are. What Iowa State does, their shooters, they back up and shoot further shots. Chenoweth is back in for the Jayhawks, and Shane Power, a freshman, is in for Iowa State with Tinsley finding the aforementioned power. Shot clock at nine. Heinrich was blocked out by Shirley. Tinsley's got some room. It's power maneuvering for a 15 foot. Another freshman, another terrific shooter. The biggest lead for Iowa State now at seven. Kansas has to remain poised through all of this. Handle the basketball, get it inside, try to create some. Got a turnover, you can't have it with a crowd going like this. Kansas has three turnovers right now and just a reminder we'll be switching some of our audience to the Arizona USC game which will tip off at 2.05 Eastern time today. 
Here comes Tinsley, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. And Tinsley pointing to the official. He's got a shoe untied. The official just shook his head. Too bad. Man to man, Tinsley go to work. When he played in the Rucker League, I'm sure that didn't stop his <laughs> game. Did Good it? defense by Boshi to keep Tinsley out of the paint. Here comes Power. And they spread the floor all the time. See if Tinsley can get it to the paint area. He'll either score or dish it off. Iowa State's on an 11-4 run. Tinsley oh, missing. And Boshi defending well. Heinrich will race it the other way. Shifting gears and waiting for Chenoweth to come. And there he is, dumping it into Carey. Knocked away by Pierce and picked up by Power. And here comes Tinsley for Iowa State. Oh, what a pass. Pearson inside, colliding, and a foul. We're knocked out of bounds, and it's off of Iowa State. Well, Pearson tried to score before he had the ball. Tinsley, a bullet pass right on the money. Pearson simply lost it. Eustachie is 4-1 against Roy Williams, which not many coaches can say in college basketball. No, and four in a row. And yes. now Tinsley goes out. Cantrell Horton moves to the point guard. Handles it well. Good pass for himself. Genoweth from Villa Park, California. Lobs it inside. Power with the interception. Kansas turns it over for a fourth time. Well, a frustrating pass for a coaching step. Nothing available and not even close. Gregory is on power. Nine and a half to play in the half here in Ames. What Iowa State does on the offensive end is space so well. You've got good shooters, give them room, plus it gives the penetrators opportunities to go to the hole. Nice feed. Horton to Pearson with the left. You mentioned his ability to score in junior college. Heinrich to Gregory. Kansas has turned it over the last three trips, but Kenny Gregory hits it right between the eyes. Seniors answer. Gregory, terrific senior season. His numbers are up. A John Wooden candidate. Kansas went almost four minutes without a field goal. Tough to do on the road. You've got to maintain your poise. Knock in shots. Heinrich on Hort. Sullivan picked up by Collison, doubled by Heinrich. Tapped away by Kenny Gregory and out of bounds. So 12 seconds on the shot clock. Just under nine to play in the first half. Jayhawks have lost four consecutive games to Iowa State. No conference team has beaten a Roy Williams team five in a row. Shot clock at five. Horton sees it. He'll work on Boshi. Gets a rub on his screen and puts up an off-balance shot, which does not go, and Heinrich is there to collect it. Boshi. Collison inside to Chenoweth, and they need more of that inside penetration and an Iowa State foul. Good ball movement, better pass, good look. Move the ball, and again, Kansas establishing that low block when they run down offensively. Iowa State wants to meet him about the foul line, root him out there a little bit. Pearson picks up his second personal foul. Sullivan will check out. And so it's Power, Rancic, Tinsley and Horton out there for the Iowa State Cyclones. Chenoweth, Boshi, Gregory, Collison, and Heinrich for the Kansas Jayhawks. You know, two ball clubs very similar, we mentioned. Starting five, all double figures for both teams. So far, Rancic hasn't scored, Horton hasn't scored. Iowa State has hit four threes. They're shooting 56% from the field. Kansas, 9 of 18 shooting from the floor. And the matchup zone has been effective. Pearson saves it off of Heinrich. Iowa State's ball, 20 seconds to fight. Concern for Roy Williams, first and foremost, was probably the penetration of Tinsley and Horton. They have shut that down. What they haven't been able to react to is Sullivan on the outside. Athletic grab by Horton. Shot clock down to eight. Power shuffles it off to Tinsley for three. He missed everything off of Pearson back to the Jayhawks, who trail by just four, with 7.54 to play in the first half. It's Iowa State number nine over Kansas. Kevin Harlan, John Sundold at the Hilton Coliseum in Chile, Ames, Iowa. Four threes by Iowa State. Well, you take a look. This is uh, where they make their living. Uh, they look at it. They're second in the country. Everybody's solid. Sullivan only five off his career high already. 
Kansas had an early three-point lead. The Cyclones' big lead has been nine. I'm now 24-20. And there is Hilton Magic. 15 consecutive conference home wins. 33 consecutive wins overall by the Cyclones in this building. Special place. Yes. Tough to come in here and win, obviously. Last time Kansas won here three years ago, February 4th, 98. Larry Brown coached five years at Kansas and never won here. Heinrich, Chenoweth, well, Rick Gregory, and Boshi and Collison. Rancic and Collison really going at each other. And Collison sliding in there, a kid who was coached by his dad in high school in Iowa Falls, Iowa. Nice entry pass by Boshi, and if I'm Heinrich and Boshi, I keep looking for Collison on the block. Make Iowa State stop him. You talked about him at the top of a block. Well, I think he's a player that has such good skills on the low block here. He's got a left hook, a right hook, a little fadeaway. He'll make you he'll pump fake. He'll make you leave your feet. Kansas on a 7-0 run right now, and they get a steal, and they could tie it. Here comes Gregory, dueling with Horton. And on top to Collison, finds Chenoweth with a spin and fires and misses. And it's Iowa State again. They lead in rebounding. Pearson slicing inside. What a move by Tyrell Pearson. Tough finish. He's from Hammond, Indiana. Inside, alley-oop up high, and down hard goes Eric Chenoweth. Again, Boshi looking, finding. Good back screen. Eyes up, head up. Put it right on the money. And we've got a two-point game with six and a half to play in the half. And Applebee's tournament favorite in 1986, the Midwest Regional. Sophomore Jeff Grayer leads Iowa State with 16 points and five rebounds as the Cyclones hold off a late rally by Michigan. And they advance to the Sweet 16. Head coach Johnny Orr, who had so many great years here in Ames, called this game his greatest victory ever as a coach. And remember, he coached at the University of Michigan as well. And there's the banner that hangs high atop Hilton Coliseum here in Ames. That's Sweet 16. Also, that team includes Jeff Hornacek. Yes. Outstanding, he was their lead guard on that ball club. A walk-up. What is that? was a walk-up. He's done all right for himself. He huh? has done very oh, well. Yes. One of the great shooters in the history of the pros and a great college player here at Iowa State. Both teams over 50% shooting here this afternoon. Rancic to Horton. Shot clock is at 20. There's plenty of time. Horton spoon feeds surely inside. Again, the penetration by Horton, his ability to always look towards the outside, but he drops it inside. It's Iowa State by four. Horton's like a good quarterback. He likes to look the defense off, make a pass the other way. Brett Ballard is in the game for Kansas. Here comes Tinsley the other way for the second. Brett Ballard in with Boshi, Chenoweth, Collison, and Gregory. But now this crowd is back in the game with Chenoweth with a myriad of moves, unable to get it in. Horton with the rebound. To Ballard, a shove and a reach and a foul. When you're on offense against Iowa State, you have to be careful of Jamal Tinsley. He will leave his man, kind of plays midfield at times. Center field, he'll just pick you clean. Quick hand, slaps hard on the basketball. Easy finish. Boshi picks up his first foul. Boshi's in there with Gregory, Carey, Collison, and Heinrich. Kansas making more moves. Jake Sullivan is back in for Iowa State with Horton. Tinsley with the ball inside to Shirley. Spinning up for a hook with a little bit short on the shot. And Carey with the rebound. And we talked about the Jayhawks without Drew Good. Luke Axtell is not, not here either. Bad back. Another guy that comes off the bench. A shooter for Roy Williams ball club. And Boshi trying to penetrate and drive. Out of bounds it goes. Kansas retains it with 28 seconds to shoot. And 5-19 to play in the first half with the Jayhawks trailing 30-24, down by six right now. The big lead for Iowa State has been nine. Richard Evans comes in for Iowa State, only 6-5, but very active on the glass. He's from Dallas. We'll remind a lot of players of Stevie Johnson of a year ago. Tinsley, stick to the great hands. 
Sullivan thought about three, but the defense of Boshi prevented him from firing. And Boshi will understand Sullivan again. Shooters understand how quickly another shooter wants to get it out. Houghton takes it inside. Iowa State up now by eight. Kevin, Houghton is strong, physical with the ball. He handles it well, uses his body. Boshi from Perry, the drive slithering inside for two. Young man has had an answer. Boshi playing solidly this first half. Tough hoop there. Starts a two guard now, but began his career at Kansas uh -huh. as the starting point. More comfortable probably coming off screen, shooting the ball. Heinrich, a natural point guard from his high school days. Boshi's got four. Gregory is on Sullivan. And you saw Gregory go for the fake, and you have to, because when Sullivan lifts the ball, he's not necessarily a jump shooter, although he can, but he'll shoot a set shot on you. He'll catch you off guard. Boshi fighting through screens. Horton finally released and got it to go. And what do you do? Defensively played it solidly. You stayed in front of him. You fought him off. That shoots a fadeaway. Not to do. Now we stay by it again. Here comes Hunter. Stolen by Horton. And buckle up. But he couldn't elevate. He's either too tired or too heavy. And it may be a combination of both. Much to the of coach Larry Eustace. Nonetheless, he's had a good game, as have the ninth-rated Cyclones of Iowa State, leading Kansas 34 to 26. Angular. It's Iowa State. They've led by nine, now on top by eight. And coming up in the singular at the half, Greg Gumbel has all the scores and highlights, and Clark Kellogg visits UCLA head coach Steve Lavin on the singular at the half. The backcourt of Iowa State amongst the best in college basketball with Tinsley and Horton combined as starters here, John Sunbold. They are 29-0. The two have never lost a home game started. Not used to losing. And when you have senior guards this year, these guys can go in any building and play well. Horton with the missed three. The three losses early to Iowa, but the other two in conference play, four overtimes against Missouri and overtime on the road at Oklahoma State. Iowa State's backcourt today is accounted for 22 points. And here's Boshi with the carry screen, knocking out two oncoming Cyclones. The rebound is pulled down by Richard Evans. And Tinsley shifting gears. The pump fake in the drive. Great defensive play by Boshi. And then a trap. But the defense was outstanding. Boshi has been terrific defensively on Tinsley. And one thing you do when Tinsley goes to his left, he'll still shoot with his right hand. Rarely finishes with the left. Boshi stays right on it. Makes the block. Roy Williams thought Boshi got pushed. There's the trap. Chenoweth on the bench. And so Collison and Carey, the front line for the Jayhawks. Heinrich, Nash, the freshman in there. Along with Boshi, here comes Horton. He's from Covington, Georgia. Richard Evans. And Boshi the other way. Heinrich, we had an early three. Carry on top, touch pass to Collison. Great rotation by Kansas with a Iowa State foul. Richard Evans may have got it, and he did for Iowa State. And you took take a look at Nick Collison bending over. He and Evans were fighting for that low block. Evans got on the low side of him, took him out of initially, but Collison sealed him, then he was wide open. We talked a couple times about the battles inside today. Well, it's a war. These two teams, well coached, physically tough. They'll go at each other. Iowa State is not as big and strong, so they have to push and shove and hold. Heinrich found Collison. Collison was a McDonald's All-America in that year. That McDonald's All-Star game was played in this building. He has six. Here's Power with Shirley setting a screen, knocking off Heinrich. Tinsley for three, and that's well, way, way off the mark. Yeah. You know, a year ago, Tinsley shot 24% from the three-point line. Beyond it, this year, 40%, 46% in conference play. He's been outstanding and normally backs up three or four feet beyond the line. Collison finds Heinrich, who looks for Carey, who is battling with Shirley in a travel inside. Chenoweth will check back in. That's the 10th. That is the 10th first half Kansas turnover. Well, Jeff Carey, 16 minutes each of the last two games with Drew Gooden out. Not a big offensive threat. Chenoweth for Collison. Turnovers has really been the story when these teams meet. Again, starting five, score, terrific rebounding teams. Defensively, they're solid, but in the last three meetings, Kansas has averaged 16 turnovers a game. Iowa State only 10. How deep is that Iowa State bench? Not very deep. I mean, they don't go very far down the line, only bring in a couple guys off the sideline. 
Tinsley. The crossover on the drive, and Chenoweth met him, and out of bounds, and Hens is his ball. Jeff Boshi has been brilliant defensively against Jamal Tinsley. There he is, Stacy, who was a coach earlier in his career in Idaho for three years, Utah State for five years. As you see, Jake Sullivan checking back in for Tinsley. So Power, Sullivan, Evans, along with Shirley and Horton. With under two to play in the first half from the sold out and Rockin' Hilton Coliseum. Small lineup for this Iowa State team. Good screen by Carey for Boshi. Right there it is. He knocks down a triple. And Boshi took his time that time. At times, Boshi will come off and release the ball too soon. Good solid screen, as you mentioned. Kansas with a 5 0 run after that three. They trail by three. Kevin Harlan and John Sunbold and Ames, Iowa. In a huge game for first place Iowa State and second place Kansas. Shirley with the dance, the drive, and up high Evans couldn't corral it. Here come the Jayhawks with a chance to tie. Heinrich shifting the screen and Kansas to within one. 34-33. I was thinking a three could have brought him to a 34 all time. And a terrific change of direction. Heinrich likes to go really full speed down the court, change direction, made the defense defender change his shoulders. Kansas has had a nice couple runs in this first half. I like what I see Jeff Boshi defensively. He has matched the toughness of Tinsley and Horton. He's not backing down. Here's Sullivan. At one time, he had 14 consecutive points in this first half. Power. Shane Power in the game at Kansas less than two weeks ago had two three-point shots for the cycle. Both in the second half, both down the stretch of that game, both big hooks. Big hoops, the 6'5 freshman. Good-looking freshman. Big, strong, solid, good defender. Difference of four seconds, game clock and shot clock winding down the first half. Heinrich with the drive and to the rack and knocked away and picked up by Sullivan. Can he beat the clock from behind? Heinrich with the steal. He'll have to fire on the fly for three. Kill! He knocks it down at the buzzer. And that brings Kansas to within one. What a great finish for the Jayhawks. Great hustle by Heinrich. The Jayhawks are back in business after trailing by as many as nine points in the first half. That buzzer beating three by Iowa born and raised Kirk Heinrich brings the Jayhawks to within one at the end of the first half. Greg Gumbel, we got a beauty in the heartland. 37 36. Number nine, Iowa State over number six, Kansas. Let's send it to you in New York. Inside the Hilton Coliseum and through our first half, here are some of the numbers. A heavyweight fight and both teams playing well. Going at each other, they're shooting the ball well. What's interesting about it, Kansas, again, the 10 turnovers takes away opportunities for them to score. Kansas has not beaten a top 10 opponent since December 2nd, 1997. What do they got to do in the second half here? Well, I'll cut down the turnovers because all five scorers are, are they're scoring, all five starters are scoring. They've been balanced enough. They can get it inside. They've done some damage, but when you throw it away, you take away opportunities. Iowa State has converted on the other end. And Iowa State looks great. A freshman led them early. 14 consecutive points by Jake Sullivan, who is absolutely magnificent early but late in the half he disappeared well no shots you see Kansas recovered in a hurry tried to make Sullivan put it on the floor try to create something off his dribble he's better at standing and shooting so Kansas will be out there with Collison Oshu's had a great first half in terms of defense Chenoweth Heinrich who just hit the buzzer beating three to end the first half and Gregory will set the Cyclones for you in a second in the first meeting 12 days ago in Lawrence Iowa State led Kansas by 11. And that game ended up to be close, but only a two-point game. Iowa State led the whole thing by 10 points the whole way through. Collison knocked away by Tinsley. Heinrich is back, so is Boshi behind the back, and a quarter inside with the Kansas foul call. Remember the graphic in the first half. Tinsley emerges second-half play. Gets everybody ball involved in the first half. Second half, he tries to do more things by himself. Defensively, already involved. So he's a guy who needs to feel the game to thrive. Well, the thing is, he thrives on the pressure. Kevin, when it's down to the wire, who wants the ball? He does. He wants to create for himself and his teammates. Bosch has got two fouls. Jamal Tinsley, kid from Brooklyn. You can see the numbers. First 
with the second half. And he has had some big games. The last four averaging over 20 points a ball game when they needed him the most. He didn't play high school basketball, played AAU basketball only. Then went the junior college route and came to Ames. Boshi lobbing for Chenoweth. Slides by Rancic, who had it knocked away, and Tinsley will go the other way for the Cyclones as Kansas commits their 12th turnover. Good thought by Boshi, good weak side help by Rancic. Run count, run out count, foul is out. Well before the shot, Tinsley, who played a lot of playground basketball in Brooklyn on the same court, on the exact same area that the great Connie Hawkins played on, that Julius Irving played, Stephon Marbury played there, and part of that great Rucker League in Brooklyn. He's got that toughness to it. Yes, he does. He needs it, especially in this conference. Sullivan with a floater. What a release. Sullivan's got a great mid-range game. He can put on the floor and get to that spot and knock in shot. Great balance, great finish. Another turnover by Kansas. And Kansas turning it over on their first three trips this half. Sullivan gets his first field goal since 12 minutes left in the first half. So he ends a drought. But the Jayhawks, and I think you said if they cannot turn the ball over, and they have 13 times already in this game. Turnovers play into the hands of the home team because the crowd gets involved. Shirley picked up. You know, Rancic, Rancic has been quiet only in the scoreless in the first half, and here's a guy that averages over 13 a ball game. ISU by four. You can see the turnover story the last three games. And in Allen Fieldhouse this year. Iowa State only turned it over nine times, but senior leadership, senior guards, they take care of the ball. Heinrich behind the back and finds a deuce as Tinsley bit on the fake. Uh, you see the ability of Heinrich you saw in the first half. Open shots he's very good at. He pushes hard. Change of pace on the dribble frees him up. Heinrich has 10 points. He's coming off two consecutive games of 20 and 26 points. The 26 against Baylor Monday at career high. Cantrell Horton on the weak side. That'll wake him up. Genoa trying to pry his way in. Here comes Heinrich knocked away by Tinsley. It's a three on two. Tinsley behind the back out to Sullivan for three. called a 20-second timeout. Iowa State left their players on the floor. Larry Stacey said, stay out there, enjoy the crowd. And the alley-oop, weak side Cantrell Horton puts a terrific ball stir, weak side screen, and nice pass, nice finish. And Tinsley, the magic of Hilton Kelsey. Kansas has four turnovers on five trips in the second half. A pickoff by Tinsley, another Kansas turnover. To Shirley inside, he fumbled it away. Off of Heinrich. It was. Kansas now with five turnovers in their last six trips in this second half. And a missed opportunity by Shirley to flush that one and keep this crowd at a fever pitch. Jenner with his out and carry is in for the Jayhawks. They slide it inside. Oh, good block. Tinsley tried to go and met the defense and 29 to shoot with about three minutes gone here in the second half. What a physical game and only two free throws have been taken by the Jayhawks and only four by Iowa State. Crews done a very good job. Yeah, they have. They've let them, they've let them play. Only eight total fouls, John, in the first half. Four on each team. Morton with the drive. Chiseling his way. And a whistle. And out of bounds. Rancic tried to call timeout. Steve Wilmer. Dave Baer going to talk about it. Station here. He's upset. Roy Williams bewildered. And the physical play doesn't necessarily play in the hands of Iowa State. Normally, that whistle blows. Iowa State shoots a lot of free throws when their guards penetrate. Kenny Gregory from Columbus. Rants 
Isaac and Collison battling inside. Ransom doing a nice job. Oh, he's been fun to watch. Heinrich calling him inside. Tim's his hands again. He's been all over the floor. Three picks to Ransom. When you play either team from offense to defense, you better run because both teams get out. Rancic, one of the better big guys running the floor. That's six eight. He's going to sprint. Horton puts it right on the money. Good foul. Don't let him lay it in. Carey picks up his first for Kansas. And here comes Slovakian Martin Rancic. He is a senior. Played high school basketball in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, just outside Minneapolis. But the great thing for him today is mom and dad have spent the last day and a half flying from Slovakia. And today, Vladimir and Sonia watching their son Martin play for the first time in college basketball. Boy, how special. Oh, huh? Come here, and this young man fought injuries a year ago when he came to Iowa State. A loose type player turned the ball over kind of four shots under Larry Eustace and this season has been solid shoots 57 percent from the field over 13 points a ball game probably the X factor for this club going forward when they get to the NCAA tournament Martin Rancic has to have big games last year this Iowa State team made the elite eight there's the season number six in college basketball. Got a couple of players on that team which are pretty good. Well, Marcus Pfizer, Stevie <laughs> Johnson, and the rest of this crew, and Tom Izzo would say it's the toughest team they played all year in that elite ball game. A couple of whistles here and there. Iowa State may have advanced to the final four. Kansas 17 turnovers for the game and seven in the second half, and that is absolutely destroying the Jayhawks. Again, keeps the crowd in it. Kansas shot 55% in the first half, so when they didn't turn it over, they're going to score the ball. Seven turnovers and eight trips for the Jayhawks. Tinsley trying to chisel his way inside. Sullivan for three. What a release. He's a young John Sullivan. <laughs> it is picture perfect, Kevin. Right on target. Five three-point shots by the freshman Jake Sullivan. He has offered a spectacular afternoon with the career high 22. Boshi, the fake, the drive, and he gets the deuce. How about the game by Boshi? Has been solid defensively. He has been tough. He has had to fight Tinsley and Horton. The crossover dribble. Iowa State is led by as many as 11, up now by nine. Tinsley feeds Horton, who looks inside for Shirley, an Iowa State turnover. With Boshi finding Gregory, stripped of the ball by Tinsley as he took it down the baseline. And it might be Iowa State's ball. We're going to see here. Tinsley saying it hit Gregory. Turnovers have killed Kansas in the second half, as has the marksmanship of freshman Jake Sullivan. The Fidelity Investments keys to success today. Well, Kansas, we've talked about the turnovers. They have seven in the first five minutes of this second half. Perimeter defense, they've got to get to Sullivan in a hurry for Iowa State. Tinsley Horton, only three of 13 the first half. They need their production. Defense in the paint, don't let Kansas catch the ball so deep and put it in. Kansas has been in the top 10 all season long. Coming into today, number six, Iowa State at number nine. This is the first time Iowa State has been in the top 10 all season. Well, not rated in preseason polls anywhere. Again, picked fourth by the coaches in this league, fifth by the media. Everybody thought with a loss of Stevie Johnson, Marcus Pfizer, Michael Nurse, three starters, how would this guy get him back? Well, you know, he had two guards coming back pretty solid, Horton and Tinsley, and they've He's been magical at piecing everything else together. Folks, an invitation to follow all the NCAA hoops action from now through March Madness, only on the Internet's home of college basketball, cbs.sportsline.com or ALL keyword CBS Sportsline. There's Carey sliding it off to Heinrich, lost the ball, another Kansas turnover, eight and a half, 18 for the game. At times, Kansas offensively will get two bunched up. There's no avenues to throw the ball. Surely a screen for Tinsley, rebound Heinrich, shuffles it off to Gregory. Collison knocked away by Shirley with a shove inside. Gregory comes out of the pack and takes it in for two. A fortunate break for the Jayhawks. A another bad pass that was nearly intercepted. 
And again, Kansas playing shorthanded today. Yeah, Drew Gooden out with the wrist. They hope to take the cast off on Monday. They hope he plays on Wednesday. Luke Axtell out with a bad back. His status is uncertain for the rest of the season. Mario Kinsey, a backup point guard, no longer with the team, going to concentrate on football. Spring football is a quarterback for the Jayhawk football squad. Rare miss by Sullivan. Here comes Heinrich for the Jayhawks, who are shooting 57% from the field. Iowa State, 50%. Kansas, one of the best shooting teams in college basketball. Number four overall across the country. Boshia, three with the Heinrich screen to set it up. Rebound by Tinsel. Good defense. Five inside and a charge on Tinsley. Smart play by Heinrich. Tinsley has a tendency when he comes at you to go to his left. Well scouted. They've played each other enough times in the last two years. Heinrich read it perfectly. Again, Tinsley likes a crossover, likes to go to his left. Solid play. Eric Chenoweth back in for Kansas. Carey will leave, so it's Chenoweth, Boshi, Gregory, Heinrich, and Collison, and for Iowa State is Shirley will leave. It is Richard Evans, Rancic, Jake Sullivan, a freshman, Power, a freshman, and Tinsley at the point. And the matchup to watch. Evans is in. He's only 6'5", guarding Collison at nearly 6'10". They go right to him. Collison had it, but stepped out of bounds. Kirk Heinrich, a sophomore, has had a solid season, but as a point guard, you've got to wait and let your big guy establish low post position. He had Collison on the move. Not set yet. Turnover. 19 turnovers for the Jayhawks, nine crushing turnovers in the second half after they trailed by just a single point and a three-point shot by Heinrich to end the first. Yeah, you shoot the ball 56%, and that's what's keeping them in this ballgame. Approaching 13 minutes to play in the second half with Tinsley finding power, trying to shed Gregory. Collison and Evans are dueling. Boshi with a little flash of defense. Iowa State likes to spread the court. Open up the avenues to penetrate. That's a good screen. Shoot jump. You got that right. He took it inside the charge. Rob Power. Shane Power from Crown Point, Indiana, who spends a lot of his summer shooting with Rick Mount, a legendary Purdue player. And a good guy to spend it with. Lost control going up. Boshi slides over. When you're making the move against any Kansas team, any Roy Williams coach teams, you understand weak side help is going to come. So instead of getting all the way in, make sure as you turn the corner, you know they're coming. Find the open guy. Kansas plus three in rebounding this afternoon. 1916. Boshi the drive. Tinsley may have got a hand on it. On the floor, Collison. And they have a little all-star wrestling. With the jump ball called, and it should be Iowa State's ball. Well, Tinsley disruptive. As Boshi, Boshi put it on the floor, Tinsley got his hand in there. John, I think you picked up on something very early in this telecast, how physical it is, and maybe more so than your normal Big 12 game. I think so, and again, give credit to this officiating crew that they've allowed these teams to play. Thursday, March 1st, New York's toughest cop being forced to work with the FBI. I'll be making enemies one agent at a time. From the co-creator of NYPD Blue, Big Apple, starring Ed O'Neill, premiering after CSI Thursday, March 1st. With a drive inside, there is no investigation needed right there. As the drive was made, the foul was committed by the Jayhawks. No points by either team over the last two minutes. Heinrich picks up his third, and he's debating the issue right there. Again, Heinrich came from the weak side. Good look at Shane Power. We talked about this freshman. Solid play. Again, 6'5", 210 pounds. Solid defensively for Larry Eustace's ball club. Good shooter. You mentioned spends time with Rick Mount. He will get better. He's not as pure of a shooter as Sullivan is. Gregory will leave. Nash comes in. And here's Power once again at the free throw line, who had an uncle who played some pro football. In fact, he was a... Pro Bowl player for the old St. Louis Cardinals. Don Brown. 12 and a half to play in the second half. Kansas has trailed today by as many as 11. They were within one at halftime, but they've turned it over so many times in the second half with Heinrich driving and a foul called on Iowa State. 
Horton will pick it up. Control Horton. Two years started. And the second half in the matchup in Allen Fieldhouse, Iowa State kept a 10 point lead really the whole half. Once they got it to 10, kept it there until the final minute. Kansas got it down to two. Luke Axtell missed the game winning three pointer. Heinrich and Horton. Chenoweth muscling inside. More of that. Well, Kansas always solid screens across the lane. Chenoweth 7 1. Richard Evans only 6 5. You got to get to this guy to hurt. Sullivan for two, trying to bank it. Rams a triple team inside. Another rebound inside by Iowa State. Evans shut down a bounds with the ball. It'll go back to the Jayhawks. Both teams have had a straight jacket on the other team inside all afternoon, but Iowa State on top, 51 to 44. With the conclusion of today's game, we'll select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevy will make a contribution to each school's general scholarship fund. A tradition for 30 years. Kevin Harlan alongside John Sunbold in Ames, Iowa. Larry Eustachie. Simple messages, but they get across to the team. They lead the Big 12 Conference and come in today number nine in the country. Well, the points he has always made are championships and games are won in practice. And players win games during games. And Larry Eustachie has his teams prepared well when they enter the ballgame. Heinrich to Boshi. Chenoweth is in, but Boshi will shoot over and off the glass and down. And it's ah, a big smile on the face of a shooter. Five-point game with Iowa State, John, having no field goals in over four minutes. Well, here's the 1-3-1 one, one zone defense. Ransick misses his fourth three-point shot of the season. He was two of three coming into today. Down by 11, now to within five. Paris on the drive, and then a foul. He picks up his third. Again, as coaches, most coaches don't like big guys putting it on the floor to get to the rim from the top of the key. 21 Kansas turnovers. Collison picks up his third. Boshi will leave. Gregory is in with Nash, Heinrich, Chenoweth, and Collison. And in there, Rancic for Iowa State with Horton, Tinsley, the freshman power, and Shirley for the Cyclones. Kansas, 21 field goals and 21 turnovers. Wow, that's the killer. Defensively, they have been solid. Tinsley has not done much, has not done damage in the paint as he did in game one in Lawrence. Shane Power got the defense of Nash to fall and knocks down the jump shot. The lower the shoulder, boom. <laughs> Nash goes down, wide open, huh? Freshman against freshman. Chenoweth establishes position, sweeps across the lane, and a foul. Well, the two freshmen for Iowa State, here's the lower, the, the shoulder goes down, Nash goes down, knocks it in, Power has 10, Sullivan 22. We talked about the senior guards, but what about the freshman guards? 32 points between the two of them. They've been spectacular. Now here's Chenoweth at the free throw line, a 63% free throw shooter. He's averaging eight rebounds a game as he fans on the first throw. John today just one free throw. He has tied Will Chamberlain for number four in the all-time annals of Kansas rebound. Yeah, is tied for the league lead in Big 12 with teammate Drew Gooden. Missed both free throws up. On the road, you have to convert. Tinsley knocked away inside. Heinrich was there and Chenoweth. Providing the Kansas defense. Again, the Kansas guards are playing the right shoulder and the right hand of Jamal Tinsley. When he goes to the basket, he doesn't shoot the left hook. He puts it back in the right hand. Heinrich was there. Chenoweth came over. I'm not sure which one got the block. Both were on the ball. The report is out there then, and teams know it. Horton. Got a ball in the air. Power for three. What a day for the freshman. Unbelievable. This kind of pressure, this kind of atmosphere to step up like Sullivan and Powerhead. This equals the biggest Iowa State lead today of 11. Gregory penetrates. Iowa State, John, has knocked down nine three-point shots this afternoon. Well, nine of 17. Roy Williams said after the game, 
Down at KU, he said, hey, sometimes a team just shoots lights out. Not much you can do. They so had 11 far. in the first game. And so far this afternoon, it's been the two young guys that have done it. Every time Iowa State has bulged their lead, Kansas has come back. Yeah, Gregory answered in the first half. He answered now, and maybe Boshi gives it up. Boshi can't hit. Shane Power had a hand on it. Finally gobbled in by Horton. He tins her the other way, throws it away. Throws it off at Jayhawk at once. As Heinrich will set the check back in for the Hawks, and out goes Brian Nash for Kansas. And Thursday on CBS, the whole nation is being swept away by the number one show in America, Survivor. This week, the castaways have reached the breaking point with conflict at an all-time high. It's the show everyone's talking about, Survivor, Thursday on CBS. Kevin Harlan, John Sundold from Capacity Phil Hilton Coliseum in frigid Ames, Iowa. It was below zero on the thermometer and with the wind chill about 15 below last night. But the students were camped out and waiting to get the great seat for this one this afternoon. Tinsley was pushed around like a pinball but kept his composure. He'll go to the free throw line. And another foul on the Jayhawks' interior defense, and it goes on Boshi for a third time. And Tinsley makes a living late in the game, trying to put it on the floor, drawing the contact. Jeff Boshi frustrated with himself. Jamal Tinsley, we knew about him in the Midwest a year ago as he was an all Big 12 conference player, but the national spotlight happened in the NCAA play. Against UCLA, came out in that ball game, was supposed to be a close one. Iowa State got out early. Tinsley, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, and near triple double in that game. Iowa State has beaten Kansas four consecutive games. The Kansas team has not lost five in a row since 1984. Boshi on the fly and hits it. Now, what a ball game he has played. Defensively, offensively, it's the toughest I've seen him play. A great response. For Roy Williams and his squad. He has 13, and Boshi is averaging 10 a game. Port trying to penetrate. Met by Heinrich. Tinsley for three. And out of bounds over the backboard. The clock is at 8.24. And a nine-point cyclone lead. And now Tinsley 0 of 4 and Horton 0 of 2. Beyond the three-point line. Kansas has had a great shooting afternoon. In fact, 70% John Stumble in the second half. That's phenomenal. It's the turnovers, and we've talked about it. Gregory is open. Chenoweth with the scream, and a two-point shot is reeled in by Horton. And Iowa State will want Kenny Gregory to shoot those type of shots. Tinsley with the spin. Gets his own rebound. Surely frees a charge. Chenoweth says no. Tinsley again. They blow it down. And a foul on Henrik inside for Kansas. Well, Iowa State is going to look at this game. If they can survive, their two, their senior guards, who we've talked about and boast about, are three of 19 from the field. The two freshmen have been spectacular, and everybody else kind of just chipping in. Kansas leads the Big 12 in field goal defense, and you look at the numbers of Iowa State, and that would give you an indication, only 43%. But what is truly remarkable about this game is Kansas is shooting 57% for the game, yet they trail by nine and maybe more with Tinsley at the strike. Easy to know. Yeah. 21 turnover versus 12. That's the story. And they have shut down the duo. And exhausted uh, Gordon Tinsley. Yeah. Timeout taken. State equals their biggest lead of 11. And CBS's coverage of NCAA men's basketball will continue. You talk about the deal of a lifetime. You can have satellite television from the Dish Network and A1 Satellite, 150 of America's top channels, 150 of America's top channels. You know how many channels it? It's 150 of them, and it's $39.99 a month. Here's the good news. The equipment, $199 value, yours free. Yours free, $199 value, and installation, that's free, too. Pick up that phone right now. There's the number. Get with it, Bubba. Coming next, CBS Sports' biggest weekends of hoops so far continues when we take you out to the second half of Arizona USC. Then later, master shot blocker Ken Johnson sparks the Buckeyes of Ohio State against the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Or Donnell Knight and Arizona State will tangle with Jason Capono and UCLA. All next on CBS. Here we've got number six, Kansas, against number nine, Iowa State. Kevin Harlan with John Sunbolt. This ties the biggest lead of the Cyclones today at 11. 
fourth time we've been in this position with Iowa State leading by so many. Jeff Carey is in. Here comes Ballard off the bench for a second time this afternoon. Ballard, a spot-up shooter. Again, the minutes he's getting is Luke Axtell is out. Motion, shot clock at nine. Boy, they had Chen with over the top. Good to see it. Defense by Rancic in a mismatch, and Boshi can't shoot over the big 6'10 player, and here comes Iowa State. Tinsley to Shane Powell. And Tinsley went down hard. I don't know if he twisted a knee. And really nobody was around him. No, and that's scary when yes. that happens. He's tying that shoe again. He's done that a couple times this afternoon. Iowa State, the defending Big 12 champions, leading the conference by one game over Kansas, 9 and 3 Iowa State, 8 and 3 KU Kansas if they somehow could win this afternoon because they would have a tiebreaker against a common opponents in their division would lead the Big 12 conference. If Iowa State wins, they have a two game lead, an advantage over Kansas in the season series and will be very tough to beat with a couple games to play. Well, four games left for both ball clubs. Both are two home, two and away. What an unbelievable game. This guy's had five of five from the field, four of them, three pointers. And that may be it. Shane Powers gives Iowa State their biggest lead today. And a shove and a foul by Horton, I believe, of Iowa State. You can see what the Iowa State freshmen have done today. This is a career high for both Sullivan and Power. Well, these were the last two players leaving the gym yesterday after practice, doing some extra shooting. They talked to you. Spoke with them for quite a few minutes. Two good young men. The Enjoy players. their stay right here in Ames. They love playing for you, Stacy, and they love playing with Tinsley and Horton. Screen by Collison and a three by Gregory. That's a huge basket. Kenny Gregory has had some answers this afternoon, but Kansas has to get some stops. This is where Iowa State is at its best. Tinsley can handle, as can Horton. They space it out. They want the defense to sag in, and they pitch it out to their shooter. 13 for Gregory. Surely knocked away by Collison. Here comes Kansas again. They've done this all afternoon. The big lead is... Gone up there for Iowa State, reaching double digits in Kansas every time has come back. Ballard thought about three. Horton closing the door. And outside, Boshi will fire the three and put it right between the eyes. And a timeout taken by Kansas. And Boshi has that look. He's got 16. The Jayhawks still in business down 64 to 58. They get 56. Kansas has lost two in a row here in Ames to the number ninth ranked Cyclones. They trail now 64 56. Boshi puts in a long range three. He's got 16 for the day. Six minutes to play in the second half. Here comes Shane Powell. Kevin, Iowa State, no easy baskets in the paint this afternoon. Every time they go to the rim, they're challenged. There's a tough hoop. Ransom puts it down. He's got five. Elevated over the top of the taller Jayhawk squad. Iowa State coming into today has won eight consecutive games overall. The spin by Gregory with the sweet shot and an Iowa State foul. Freshman on senior. Shane Power guarding Kenny Gregory. Gregory with the spin move and the contact. We talked about the foul line. 45%. And the crowd will remind him. Number five score in the conference. The number 12 rebounder. Kansas from the free throw line today is one of four. And Iowa State, John, is 10 of 12 from the strike this afternoon. And then a look. The win streak. Conference win streak and the eight game win streak this season started after the four overtime loss to Missouri in Columbia. Gregory tapped it, but right back to Ramsey. Now five and a half to play. With Tinsley bringing it up. Out there with Power, Ramsey, Shirley, and Horton. Basically the starting five. Tinsley with the drive. Boshi tries to defend. The block by Collison. Kansas has seven blocks today and a foul called on Nick Collison. And Tinsley has to recognize 
more quickly the fact when he's going in, a weak side or strong side big guy is running at him. That shot was blocked away, although the foul was called on Boshi. It was. Boshi Rancic, was. you know, Rancic wide open to about a 10-footer. Tinsley's got to give the ball up. They're going to get some open looks. Boshi is saying, how in the world could it have been on me? But he just picked up his fourth foul with 5-12 to play. Iowa State as a team shoots 73 percent from the foul line very efficient everybody that goes there has a high percentage by the way Chenoweth has grabbed a second rebound we've talked about it a couple times and now passes Will Chamberlain for number four all time in the Kansas rebounding charts coaching five to play Jayhawks down 68 56 Collison has not scored in the second half dishes to Gregory spins it to Ballard Foiled by Tinsley. Boshi with the Chenoweth screen. Shirley with a big time rebound, tackling it up inside, and a foul called on Kansas and Ballard. Shirley, the senior, more hungry, more determined. Watch a shot by Boshi. Again, the quick release, but maybe too quick. Surely going over the top, and there's the reach by Ballard. Surely at the free throw line. Grew up a die-hard Kansas fan. Just outside Topeka, Kansas. But he comes here as an academic scholarship player. And Shirley hits it. He graduated in December with a mechanical engineering degree. He's a graduate school right now. And here is a player that in a lot of teams, John Sunville, would have been probably just an ordinary guy. He's a starter here on a top 10 team. And again, under the, the guidance of Tim Floyd, Larry Eustachy, toughness level has increased year by year. He has had injuries in his every season, it seems like. Last year, he missed eight games with a broken foot during conference play played in the last two NCAA games in the Sweet 16 lead eight gave some solid minutes and this year he has been extremely good nearly 11.7 rebounds a ball game. Iowa State for the free throw line today 14 of 16 Kansas 1 of 6 1 of 6 from the free throw line for the Jayhawks. Boshi on the perimeter picked up by Shirley a mismatch here we'll see what Boshi does, feeding to Brett Ballard, back to Boshi, playing on top of the shot clock. And Rancic quick enough to stay within distance of Boshi. Good move down low by Collison. Collison puts it up and in with four and a half to play. Like the Kansas zone? Well, I do. What's tough against Iowa State when they have a lead, it's hard to chase them, it's hard to trap them. Again, great ball handlers, great shooters difficult teams to trap and do things so the zone they're going to make Iowa State beat them with some jump shots put a hand in their face like from Tinsley right here with Ballard in his face the Jayhawks get it Heinrich quickly the other way and Boshi picked up by Hort Collison they try it inside for Chenoweth who was mauled inside by Shirley and smart basketball Chenoweth runs right to the block Shirley working hard but giving up some inches Shirley picks up his third Collison, and Collison has made some nice passes, but really you want to throw it up by the rim, let your big center go chase it up in that level. Chenoweth is having a career year. His scoring is up. His rebounding is up. So five doubles this season. And he's, he has had an improved year. And now Kansas two of seven from the free throw line. Kansas in rebounding minus three this afternoon. And the Jayhawks still shooting 57% from the field in Iowa State, 43%, yet Kansas trailing by 11. Well, I have taken, they've taken care of the ball better. Still with 21 turnover. Iowa State still with 12. Iowa State's led by as many as 14. What's the difficult position now for Kansas? Again, senior leadership of Iowa State in the guard position. They understand and know how to win. Cyclones by 10 with under four to play at the sold out Hilton Coliseum. CBS Sports coverage of the road to the final four is sponsored by the AIG companies, world leaders in insurance and financial services. IBM, taking e-business and your business to the next level. 
and by Wendy's Honey Ham and Chicken Sandwich. It's all the buzz. Let's now take a look at the CBS Sportsline stand of the game. It's got to be three-point shooting. Iowa State had 11 in Lawrence 12 days ago. They got 10 here this afternoon in Ames. And all hit, all 10 hit, six, all 10 by the freshman. Six wow. by Sullivan, four by Shane Howard. And there's Drew Gooden with a cast on his right wrist, hurt in the Texas game. You see his numbers, what he means to this ball club. 6'10", mobile, can shoot it outside. He's active on the board. What a terrific player he is. And we hope that wrist is better next week. Hope he can play Wednesday. When they take on Colorado, Powell, Tinsel. And three and a half to play in this game. In the two years watching Iowa State play, last year and this year, they rarely beat themselves. When they have leads down the stretch, they usually maintain it because the foul line is good when they good shooting team. It's Iowa State's call. The Cyclones led by one and a half time. Kansas had eight turnovers on their first ten trips of the second half. And Iowa State has built their lead this afternoon as high as 14 points. And two freshmen have had career highs today. The kid with the ball right now, Shane Power, was 16. And now Kansas goes man to man. They're going to chase a little bit. Ballard's got to move. Now they'll sit back in that zone. Power. And Rancic. And Tinsley. Eating up some time. And good ball move, making the defense adjust. Shot clock is at seven. Carving inside Rancic. Seconds and Rancic the little fadeaway. Chenoweth glides inside for the finger roll with the miss. And the freshman power. And Collison the sophomore with a jump ball called, and it will be the Jayhawks ball. There's Roy Williams, who is only six and six against Iowa State in Ames. And one and four against you, Stacy. Well, well documented, had a chance to go to North Carolina in the summer. His loyalty to this program at Kansas, one of the best in the land over time, and the record that he has. He's trying to find a way to get bodies healthy and to get his team their confidence back in the stretch run of Big 12 play and to get ready for what kind of seating they can get for the NCAA tournament. Kansas was as high as number two in the country earlier this season. Now at number six, they lose to Baylor on Monday. They may lose here this afternoon, but Heinrich may have something to say about that. The number 13 three-point shooter in the country. They don't go away easily, do they? No. He's got 13 today in Kansas, down by nine. I think Heinrich and Boshi have outplayed Tinsley and Horton. They have been terrific on both ends of the floor. Tinsley and Horton have to find their shots down the stretch, have not made any long hoops. Kansas only has two points off the bench today. Normally that bench is bringing a 19 a game. Ransom, he's at two big baskets late in the game. They get shot clock down to five when they score. Clock now under two minutes. Heinrich twirling around. Boshi from 23. Good, he puts it in. And the three-point shooting at Kansas has been a big story here this afternoon. 19 for Boshi, 12 in the second half, and the Jayhawks are still breathing. The Jayhawks have canned seven three-point shots this afternoon. And defensively, you have to communicate. Power and Horton both leave Jeff Boshi wide open. Outstanding ball game. Kansas shooting 58% from the field. Heinrich, Gregory, Collison, Ballard, and Boshi in with some full court man-to-man -man by the Jayhawks. Tinsley, Shirley, Rancic, Power, and Horton for Iowa State. And this is the game Iowa State wants. Ballard probably cannot stay with Tinsley. Some help from Boshi, who can stay with Tinsley. Is that five on Boshi? He's gone. Mistake. And he was hot in the second half. Well, and a mistake by Jeff, and the fact that you know you have four fouls, Tinsley's already picked up the dribble. Don't reach, just stay away from it. Boshi had a glittering 12 points in the second half, 19 for the game, and he was he was their guy. Well, one of the better games I've ever seen Jeff Boshi play. Tough on the defensive end. He stayed with Tinsley all afternoon, or Horton. He responded to the big game that the Jayhawks needed. But a mistake here at the end. Chenoweth comes in. 
With 1.34 to play, Larry Eustacey leading the Big 12. The defending champs coming in. They beat Kansas 12 days ago, 79-77 in Lawrence. And he has used the same kind of mechanism this afternoon. Shoot the three and play a physical brand of basketball. And against Kansas, he is 4-1 all time and zeroing in on his fifth win. And Tinsley missed both free throws. Unusual. Kansas has to score here. Down 74-66 with the miss. Chenoweth gobbles it up and puts it in. And a timeout taken by the Jayhawks, who now creep to within a 74-68 reach with 1.17 to play. With John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan, you see the timeout story. Kansas is out. Iowa State's got some foul to give, and they've got three timeouts, and they've got the backcourt tandem of Horton and Tinsley still out there, which has been driving Roy Williams crazy all afternoon. And full court pressure by the Jayhawks as Nash comes back in for KU. Again, Iowa State all season long has not beaten themselves by turning the ball over, and they normally make free throws. Now, Tinsley missed two. We'll see if they can continue to convert. All five guys can handle it well for Iowa State. And turnovers have killed Kansas this afternoon. Heinrich trying to smother him, and Gregory doing the same, and a foul called on Gregory. He picks up only his first foul of the afternoon. Unusual in that Cantrell Horton tried to go over the top of Gregory. Horton at 225, 61, you want to go through the trap. You try to pass over a big break for the Cyclones if the whistle was blown. Kansas from the free throw line today, 3 of 8. Iowa State from the free throw line, 14 of 18. Rebounding story, plus one for Iowa State, 28-27. Well, look at Horton at the foul line. Has not scored much this afternoon, only five points. Probably the most dependable player in an Iowa State uniform can play offense, defense, comes every day to work. And you're looking at the number one free throw shooter in the Big 12 at 85%. Guy you want at the free throw line. Couple beauties. 76-68. Well, you stretch it to a three-possession game. You force Kansas into hurrying up to try to find an open look. Heinrich over the 6-11 Rancic. May have altered the shot. The rebound is inhaled inside by Shirley. Going with Chenoweth. Solid block out. I think Tinsley got a timeout. He did. Iowa State has won 33 consecutive games at home. 51 seconds left to play, and they lead the Jayhawks. As many as 14 points today. Kansas led early by three, but the Cyclones have truly controlled this game. They've answered every Kansas run today. Yeah, Kansas has not been able to get even in this second half. Full court pressure with the Cyclones inbounding, picked up by Shane Powell. Here comes Iowa State. And here comes Horton. Hemmed in, gets it off to Powell. Yeah, you have to foul. You have to foul. The game's over. And that's what Heinrich does. Well, and unfortunately, Heinrich has to foul. He now fouls out of the game, too. Ballard can't allow that to go. You've got to get quickly to him and then make it a free throw contest. Heinrich is gone. The sophomore from Sioux City, Iowa, who originally said he was going to come to Iowa State, and then when the coach, Tim Floyd, left, he left, and he went and joined Roy Williams. Well, out of I think this ball game. I think Heinrich and Boshe said something about themselves as people and as players. They have outplayed Tinsley and Horton, the two seniors for Iowa State. Outstanding game. They were tough enough to handle the pressure of the crowd. The turnovers, again, has killed this Kansas team, but give credit to Iowa State. What a ball game. Well prepared. They came in. They've done the things. And the two freshmen, Shane Power and Jake Sullivan. Huge ball game. Power at the free throw line has 16 points. Sullivan, who's on the sideline, has 22. And they did it by shooting the three. Yeah, knocked him in. Well, the last time a team beat Kansas five consecutive times was between 1982 and 84. Oklahoma State did it. Right now, Iowa State coming into today, having beaten Kansas four consecutive times as 
is looking for time up. Two freshmen, 40 points. Amazing. Amazing. And the Kansas turnover is down yeah. 21. And the two freshmen, 10 of 12 from three-point land. Gregory knocks down his second three this afternoon. He's got 16. More court pressure and the quick foul. And Brett Ballard is the one to get him. And he'll go after Shirley, a 66% free throw shooter. Did not foul Horton at 90%. Roy Williams, first time any team has defeated his squad five in a row. And they've got some work ahead, but again, Drew Gooden on the sideline, a big difference to this Kansas lineup, offensively and defensively. And then Kansas losing to Baylor on Monday. If they lose here to Iowa State, you would assume they will drop out of the top ten. And Iowa State will climb. They beat Missouri last Sunday. They beat number six Kansas here. They could really move it. You know, last year, Iowa State won the league. They went 32 and 5 overall, 14 and 2 in the league, then won the Big 12 Conference Tournament. They got a number two seed, which honestly hurt them. They had to play Michigan State in the Elite Eight, which I think was the championship game of all in college basketball. Absolutely. Now, if great. Iowa State can run the table, they win today. You got four more. You got two on the road, two at home. You run the table. Can they get to a number one seed? It's a, it's a possibility. Traveling violation. Turnover number 22 on Kansas. As you stay, she shakes the hands. And I'll promise you, that guy's going to look and say, you know, Horton goes two of eight, Tinsley one of 13, and we still won. Hey, we have a solid, solid ball club. If the posters are listening, no team in Division One has won more games over the last two years than Iowa State. And they beat Kansas for a fifth consecutive time over the last couple seasons. Number six, Kansas, losing for a third consecutive time in Ames, Iowa. And Iowa State winning for the 34th consecutive time at home. Jeff Boshi for Kansas, although that's Heinrich's picture, it's Boshi winning for Kansas. And for Iowa State, Sullivan. For John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan, Iowa State beating Kansas 79 to 71.